Traditionally, bureaucracy is focused inwards. We have all these silos and they're all set up for their own task and everything is organized for stability and control. But these days we find that this model, it works less and less. Uh, we have wicked problems. We have all these transition topics. We have a super fast changing uh, society and everything is just interconnected and nobody can really do it alone. That's why we think that the major challenge of this time is really to become open and to look outward for collaboration and for inspiration. Since 2015, the Dutch Urban Agenda is a measure to strengthen growth, quality of life and innovation in Dutch cities through a way of working which we call City Deals, a collaborative experiment between cities, ministries and social partners around concrete transition topics like circular building, public space, smart cities and electric car sharing. Together, we can collaboratively change the system. The Dutch Urban Agenda is existing 10 years and what a journey it is. Working in the Dutch Urban Agenda, we quickly found out that it's very hard to innovate because we have to push for change, we have to break through silos. How do you do that? Well, actually, we invented a whole new type of civil servant. We call it deal makers. We brought in social designers. We brought in all kinds of universities and knowledge institutions. And for the last part, we invented the CXO. What I do as a Chief Exploration Officer is basically explore in the outside world. So look for interesting ideas, interesting people, interesting practices that we as the Dutch Urban Agenda can use to help our own practice forward. And in terms of daily practice, that means I could visit interesting experiments within government. I can look at innovative collaborations between government layers or between government and artists or other societal actors. And of course, I also engage in all these sessions where we talk about this topic of government innovation. And it's really a two-way street because I'm not only, of course, learning from others, but I'm also sharing what we do at the Dutch Urban Agenda and what other people can take from that. My guideline at CXO is good artists copy, but great artists steal. Because when it comes to learning from other practices, it really isn't about exactly copying what other people are doing, but it's really finding that points of inspiration that you can use to help your practice forward. Having a CXO prevents that everybody is inventing their own wheel. The function as CXO is a bridge between ideas and the daily practice. What can our city deals learn from it? How can we build that into our city deal experiments? The CXO is not a bureaucrat, he's not part of the system and that's where we can learn so much from it. When we started with the CXO, it was mainly to keep ourselves sharp. We wanted to stay on top of our innovation game. But the CXO has a broader function for Holland. We actually want to share all her knowledge, everything she gathers from innovative perspectives. We want to share with everybody because we know how hard it is to innovate government. We have 31 running city deals with a broad variety of impact, from better knowledge, different finance schemes and changing regulations. But maybe what's even more important is the intangible stuff that lies behind it. It's a shift in the mindset and breaking through taboos. The Dutch Urban Agenda is also a symbol of a new type of government where we open our doors for partners, for corporations, for knowledge institutions to all work together. Because these wicked problems, they can only be solved if we cooperate. And that's what we do. You really have to tell the story. You know, there's this riddle, if a tree falls in the forest, but there's no one to hear it, does it actually make sound? And that really is also the case for the way we do government innovation. You really have to make it into a bigger story to make yourself heard and also, of course, really hear others because we really forget to share things within a uh, government. And when we start sharing things, we can actually help each other achieve government innovation. Stealing should really become a public value. Of course, not literally stealing. Stealing as a way to say, open ourselves and become courageous enough to build upon each other's efforts rather than trying to do everything yourself. It is a love based on giving and receiving, as well as having and sharing. We are trying to do innovative stuff at the Dutch Urban Agenda. Maybe you are trying to do it in your practice as well. But only if we start sharing and start building upon each other, we are really going to achieve systematic change.